Canadianismcongress.com For their selfless work, the Canadian Tamil Congress has introduced the Living Hero Award and services in challenging circumstances. The recipient of CTC's first Living Hero Award is the Doctor. The Doctor is a chapter in the book entitled Still Counting the Dead by former BBC correspondent and author Francis Harrison. In this heart-wrenching chapter, she tells the story of a brave doctor who was instrumental in saving the lives of thousands of war-wounded people. We are unable to release the doctor's name due to continued fear of persecution and reprisal against his family members still living in Sri Lanka. While we may not know his name, how he looks like, or which country he has sought to exile in, we do know that his humanitarian work has not only saved thousands of lives, but has now reached hundreds of readers worldwide. Why the doctor? The doctor was one of the last healthcare work one of the last healthcare workers to come out alive from the war zone in May 2009. During the final stages of the war, the doctor witnessed the sheer inhumanity that devastated that island. From treating patients in hospital beds to setting up makeshift hospitals after, the doctor soon found himself operating on patients under trees. In the middle of shelling, bombings, and indiscriminate killings, the doctor put his own life in harm's way by staying behind to help the sick, the wounded, and the helpless. He calculates that his team of doctors, nurses, and medics saved at least 20,000 lives. But he remains tormented by the 115 patients he abandoned under a tree on the very last day of the war. Fortunately, he was not captured nor identified as a doctor by the Sri Lankan authorities and somehow managed to escape Sri Lanka. The doctor, suffering from physical and severe emotional trauma, is currently living in exile with his wife and three children. He and his family are now safe from the brutal war that claimed the lives of thousands. But no matter how many miles he may flee, there is no escape from the horrific memories that he continues to relive on a daily basis. Horrific memories of tragedy, death, and unparalleled horror Memories that have become a part of his very being. The last makeshift hospital that the doctor worked at in Sri Lanka ceased to function on May 15, 2009. According to the book, when he was forced to surrender, he was forced to leave behind one woman whom he left, whom he met on the last morning. A woman he can't seem to forget. Kneeling by the side of her husband, whose legs had been blown off, the woman begged the doctor to rescue him, refusing to give up on her husband. Regardless of the thousands of people that the doctor saved, he is tormented by the people he left behind and states, I did my job, I suppose, but if I meet that lady again, what will she ever think of me? Well, if we ever had the pleasure of meeting you, sir, this is what we want to say to you. We salute you, we honor you, and we remain inspired by your courage, your compassion, and your commitment to your fellow people in dangerous circumstances. So today, the Canadian Tamil Congress honors the doctor for tending to the victims in the middle of unspeakable horror. Recognized for championing the quality of life for the people he served, and the way he embraced his conviction to uphold his duties not only as a doctor, but also as a fellow human being, the doctor has become a living hero in the eyes of many Tamil people worldwide. Thank you. Since the doctor is unable to be here today, please join me in welcoming one of our past board of directors who worked on our Save the Doctors campaign, Dr. Mira Selvacone, to accept the award on his behalf.